Welcome back to Jail Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Get a video today from NG Fire. Angry Karen crashes her car in crazy road rage. Please extra them below. I really appreciate that. Let's get a ciao. Ciao time. What the hell? Stop it. Stop it. That's how we do it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, 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 jeez, come on dude, can't even take out a pizza? Alright, so this next clip is hilarious. So, a little summary. Drunk Karen gets instant karma as her car starts rolling away. So, basically, she got out. I don't know, she had some road rage or something. She got out of her car to confront the man, began slurring her words, and then her car started rolling away. And basically, I'll play the clip and you're going to see the rest. What are you tweaking about? I have an 82 year old man in the car, and you guys are all fucking spinning and disturbing. Just because it's 4th of July doesn't mean you get away to fucking dick. You're drunk fuck as fuck. You, fuck you, dog. You're the one swerving. I was just following you. I'm the one swerving? Oh, uh... I'm the one fucking swerving. Yeah, it was actually... Oh, there she goes. And... <laughs> Did she really try to stop the car by, like... Stick, like... I mean, I guess girls are strong as men, right? Or women are strong as men trying to stop a car from rolling into another car while you're getting sandwiched in the door. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, instant karma. All right. door like why didn't he call the cops on this this the cops should have been called she literally got into an accident because she's wasted or her car got into an accident because she got out of it because she's wasted <laughs> you meet a lot of emotionally unavailable men yeah. what does that mean they, they let me know like a, few, like a month in or so they, they seem all right that's enough i think uh <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm emotionally unavailable too now, I guess. Hi, my name's Nikki. I'm studying Latin American women and visual culture. Yeah! Hi, I'm Melanie. I'm studying the unseen body and creative spaces of Eurasian exposure of the queer. Oh. Yeah! Hey, I'm Nina, and I studied the arts, education, and social justice. Yeah! I'm Joyce. I study decolonial intimacies. It's funny because you, you even see Asians getting taken by this particular university or whatever the hell it is. It is politics of resistance. Yeah! I'm a and I study remembering or forgetting, uh, navigating international conflict through collective memory. Yeah! Hi, I'm Yvonne, and I study monstrosity, the subaltern praxis. So you studied yourself? Or should I say I created it? Yeah! Hi, I'm Nunyala. I'm studying living artfully art as ritual therapy and pathways of decoloniality. Yeah! I'm Naomi and I'm studying black political economy. Yeah! I'm Natalie and I'm studying fashion history and gender studies. Yeah! 20 years ago, this would be a joke, but no, this is actually real. Because I've never heard of any of these courses. I don't even see how they're going to be useful. They're probably going to end up unemployed, and then they're going to blame men or whatever. And then they're probably going to say, you know what? I should be forgiven for my student loan because I can't afford to pay it back. It was That's the most stupid thing about the student loan things. You know, the forgiving the student loans. It's just more... What do we call it? Uh welfare for women majority because again women are the ones majority of the college debt men are dropping out in mass droves and are not going to college period nowadays
was all a scam. Yeah, no shit. If you're going to study something like that. Anyway, I'm just a humble peasant. So please excuse my ignorance. But what the F are these majors? <laughs> I'm going to be unemployed and blame male white privilege. And we know it's true. There is no indoctrination going on at American colleges. No, definitely not, guys. Keep moving. Because I do have a smart mouth. I am a little sassy, but I have the right to be. No, you don't. That's the material. Oh. I just don't like a man that likes to go back and forth. Like a little bit, you know, you're a man. You know, I'm supposed to shut the fuck up a little bit. But it's like, why are we going back and forth, back and forth? I just want to win the argument. Oh, you want to let him you just win the argument just to argue. I just want to argue, go back and forth. That's sassy. So it's sassy because of the fact that the matter is that you're wrong. And I'm trying to show you that you're wrong. It doesn't it, matter. It, if uh, excuse me, I was still talking. It doesn't matter. Oh, it matters. Okay, thank you. That's sassy. Yeah, that shit work. You got the right nigga now. Excuse me, ma'am. It's still not your turn to talk. I am still on the mic. Like I said, nothing wrong. Women, y'all supposed to want to fuck the man that can teach you something, correct? Don't you want to fuck somebody that can show you something? Don't you want to fuck somebody that can lead you? So why the hell when I try to lead your ass in the right direction of this motherfucking topic that we talking about, you get mad because I ain't let you win the goddamn discussion? Y'all motherfuckers is backwards as goddamn crisscross clothes in the 90s. That don't make no motherfucking sense. You want to fuck with a, a boss ass nigga. As soon as you get the boss ass nigga, you want to treat him like the worker. You were fucking with me because I can lead you. You was fucking with me because I can teach you something. You fucking with me for all those reasons. And then when you get me, your ass want to win the goddamn argument. No, back to the apartments with that dumb shit. Yeah, right. This is my heart. Every time you upset me, it hurts my heart. Then we go a day of talking. Take the bottom. We go a day without talking. It hurts my heart even more. Keep squeezing the bottom. Squeeze the bottom. All right. And then the next day, it hurts my heart even more. Squeeze the bottom. Okay. No, squeeze them more. All right, now blow into that box. Now that's just proof that one blow job fixes. You think my outfit is offensive? Are you Mexican? No. Yes. I think it reaffirms stereotypes that are offensive to people. It's not yours. <laughs> okay. Do you find my outfit? See, this is this is. I always think this part is always funny to me because clips like this. If someone was wearing a Chinese outfit and dressed up like Bruce Lee in like the Bruce Lee cost the karate costume, why would I be upset about that? They like Bruce Lee. They like my culture. They like Asian culture. It's awesome. Like if they were doing it maliciously, which I know most most people don't wear things of other people's culture to do it maliciously. People like to wear the the beanies with the dreads on them. Why? Because it looks cool. They like it. They like you know Rastafarian. Um, culture they love bob marley they like smoking they just like those things so it's like if a white guy or an asian guy wears it i don't think it's really appropriation or racist in any way we like it too defensive yes yeah why because it's not your culture um you don't really understand what their culture means and what it means to wear these things like the hats and the maracas you know you sort of have to understand where all of this comes from for it Why? to not be cultural appropriation just because i see something and i like how it looks or i like like how people use it i might not know the full culture of everything i don't know the culture of dishwashers how did dishwashers come about through the culture of Americans using it all the time? Because when I grew up, the dishwasher was just like dish racks. All we did was put dishes in it and pots and pans. It was just an extra rack for us. We didn't use it at all because we had our hands to wash. Where'd that culture come from? I don't know, but now I use dishwashers. Do I really need to know the American culture of why dishwashers came about? No. Does my outfit offend you? You look no no no. You look nice. Do you like my costume? Yes. Does it offend you? No. Um, do you like do you like my outfit? Oh yeah, it's awesome. Does my outfit offend you? No, not at all. No. No, nothing. See, so even when you do this with the say the rice picker hat, you know those cone triangle hats that Chinese wear or Asians wear, you know when when they're working in the fields. There's nothing wrong with people wearing that. It literally is used to block out the sun. If you use it for that purpose and you like the look, why would I be upset about that? Yes, we Asians created it, Chinese created it, and used it for a particular reason, but it was used to block out the sun. So it's just a nice hat that blocks out the sun. 
Let's go in. Adoption of a certain language, behavior, clothing, or tradition belonging to a minority culture or social group by a dominant culture. So what is a dominant culture? Are we assuming this is America? So who's considered the dominant culture in America? I mean, I'm guessing the woke people think it's white people. It doesn't make any sense. So what if a white person goes to Mexico? This Technically, is where I was he's thinking. no longer the dominant culture because Correct. he's in Mexico. Is it then acceptable to wear a sombrero once you cross over the border? You know, it's probably more offensive to assume that somebody knows nothing about another a culture just by looking at them and this guy says it right as a mexican those liberal students offend me more than the guy in the mexican poncho you see people just want to be offended over nothing logic is not like kung fu your kung fu is not better than my kung fu there is only one kung fu in this situation there's only one logic okay if that's the way that, that you want to interpret logic then no 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 that's the only way it that's, can be. that's it's like your math. way okay here let me demonstrate it for you can two plus two ever not equal four Like, if I were to, like, think about the logic of math, maybe oh, there's wow. someone who could come up with that. No, no, can that. two plus two ever not equal four? Unless there's missing information, what? because two plus two... It just literally gave you all of the information. What interpretation are you getting from that there's missing? He literally said, when... <laughs> God, I don't even want to explain myself. If there's missing information in the middle, what, what do you mean? No, it literally two, there is no what missing two, information. The real man is he is sticking by me whether I cheated or not, which I did, but it's okay. We are still making it work. We stop it. Stop it. She ain't your wife anymore, brother. Cause it ain't your kid. Just get the fuck out. We are gonna be one big happy family. As you know, we have other children together. Mm -hmm. So everyone's going to be brother and sister. Absolutely. Nobody's going to be treated differently. Mm -hmm. No separation on my end. Because let me tell you something. <clears throat> as a man, as a man, I was brought up to stick by your woman no matter what. <laughs> Sounds like he was raised by a single mother. Every, no matter what. Even men. Like... There, there, it comes to a point where you have to go. If she's harming your children or harming your family or doing things, I have to stay with you? No. There's reasons. And if it's logical reasoning, then it makes sense. Like her cheating on you and having a child with another man. That's a pretty solid reason. <laughs> 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 this can't be real like not only did she cheat on him the worst part is i think the fact that if it is real she set a camera up and made him feature in the video he just sat there like a simp how are you going to sit in a video and be like, oh yeah, look, it's okay that she cheated because I'm a real man, so I'm going to let her cheat on me. She don't respect you no more. She never respected you when she cheated on you. If you stay around, she just lost even more respect for you. So yeah, I hope it's not real, but who knows? But if it is real, this is like the perfect example of a man who grew up listening to women tell him what a real man is. Anyway, that's the end of the video. That's enough of that shit today. It's just sad out there that men really just don't have standards for themselves. The woman cheats on you and has a you know a child with another man and you're still gonna take her back and just act as everything is okay fuck that please subscribe down below i really appreciate that get you guys next time ciao